Hey guys, Wayne here from HG Tech Videos. This is part two to how to set up your tablet, Samsung Galaxy Tab A with S Pen. This is the new 2016 edition. Um, there's a couple of things I do uh, with every new tablet that I purchase. And um, so after you get to this screen, um, the first thing I like to do is, is get a widget for my, um, for my emails. So all you do is hold down the home screen and go to widgets and then look for Gmail. You're gonna tap once, and then look for this one, the three by three, hold down on it, and then we can just drag it right to the screen. And then you're gonna hit uh, primary, so, cause I want to see like all my emails, not just certain ones, so primary. And there's my widget. Now you'll notice my widget showed up on the next page, not on the original page here. Um, and the reason for that is there's not enough space. That leads me to the next point, which is um, you can move and change all this stuff. You don't have to keep all this stuff. This is just sort of how it comes set up. So the first thing I would do is get rid of this. You don't need that bar. The Google search bar just takes up a lot of space in my opinion. Hold down on it, drag it all the way up to delete, and then let it go, and that just takes it off of the screen. Um, this as well, although nice, takes up, if we hold down on it, it actually takes up two sections, two spaces, and that's a lot of space to lose on a tablet. So um, let's see, it actually will let you drag it up, which is cool. So we can make it only take up one space. And now we've got a big section in the middle here. Let me also turn the tablet sideways uh, for a tablet like this, you're normally going to use it more in this setup versus the other uh, portrait setting. So this makes more sense anyway. All right. So now if we swipe over, here's our widget. I, I want to take this and put this on the main screen. So I'm going to just hold, hold down with my finger and then I'm going to drag it to the left and that's going to help move it over a couple of screens. And I want to stick it right here. And that's it. Now, whenever I get new emails, literally when I open the tablet, I'm gonna be able to see my new emails right on the front. And I love that because it just makes things easier. Um, you know, not having to always open the Gmail app to see if you have new emails, it'll just automatically show up. So that's the first thing I like to do. The next thing is I actually like to have my calendar. So go to widgets again. If you've never really looked through here, I definitely encourage you to look through here because there's so many good um, little widgets you can use just to make surfing the tablet a lot more convenient. So um, let's see here. So Smart Manager, this is another one. I'm going to go ahead and hold down on this and uh, I'm going to drag this onto the screen. It's kind of weird. It didn't. This one is too long. That's why it doesn't let us put it over there. But I think if we hold down on it, oh, see, this one actually doesn't allow you. Sometimes the apps will let you shrink it, like we did with um, with this little home screen right here. When we held down on this, it actually let us. Um, it's kind of acting silly. Let's try it again. Hold down. And these little dots in the corner, you can use this to like shrink it down and make it smaller. And it basically just gives you more space. So now I can take this now that it's smaller and I can drag it and move it to the middle. But again, it just frees up more space. Let's do that so it's a little more centered. Um, but the problem is um, this one does not allow you to shrink it. And it just it takes up uh, four spots. So using this one is not going to be as easy on the main screen. Um, so anyway, it is what it is. Um, I'm actually going to go to the Play Store really quick, and I'm going to download uh, Google Calendar. Or actually, I take that back. Samsung should have their own calendar widget as well. So let's hold down widget, and here it is. So we have a, a little calendar right here from Samsung. And let's use this one, it's a little bit smaller. We're gonna hold down on it, drag it here. And right now we don't have any events. Now again, I can make this bigger. 
I can drag it down so I can see more events later. I can also drag it to the left. So now that it's a little bit more centered with this, or I can just take it this way. And I think you can also resize this one too. Oh, that one won't let you resize it. Okay, so it's up to you. Uh, this can look a little crowded, and I know a lot of people are not big fans of that. Um, I like to see my schedule, kind of what's happening for the day. So that's why I like to have email and um, calendar right there. But another cool thing you can do, let's get rid of this. Hold down. Widgets. Um, I would say bookmarks is a really cool one. You can actually bookmark some of your favorite websites, in which we don't have any saved under this uh, email account here. But if we now go into Chrome, accept, got it. I could bookmark this website. I believe we just start. Yep, so starring it bookmarks it. And now there we go. So we have Samsung's website as a bookmark here. And then it's just easy to go in and keep creating them. So maybe you like to use, um, I don't know, AOL. AOL news. A lot of people like to just see whatever the news articles are. So we could hit star there. That's there. And maybe a really cool YouTube site known as H2 Tech Videos, of course. You may want to have that as well as a bookmark. So you can see when we post new videos, hey. Um, and then on websites like this, because they're made, you know, like this is the mobile version. Oh. What you can do is upper right corner, click on these three dots, go to de go to request the desktop site. So now you can see um, the website like you would see it on an actual computer screen. Now we can start it. And we've got just those couple of bookmarks right there. So um, you could, again, we can shrink this down. It doesn't have to be that big, but it's just cool. Now we just have some quick shortcuts to get to those important websites really quick. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna do, I don't want this video to run too long, but um, so we can get rid of some of these apps here that maybe we're not gonna use. Maybe you say, oh, CNN for Samsung, I'm not gonna use that. Uh, notes, I may use that. Calendar, I may use that. Email, I'm not going to use this one because I have my Gmail on here. Um, so I always say kind of get rid of the stuff so you don't want your home screen to be too cluttered. And then we can create folders of some of the other stuff. So maybe I want to put calendar and the Google Play Store in a folder. I'm just going to hold down on it and drag this over Play Store. And now I have a folder, which I can also name it. Um, miscellaneous apps. You can even change the color of it right here. And now there's that folder and uh, maybe my files, I wanna put that in there too. It's a little tricky, so you have to drag it all the way inside, let it go, and maybe Samsung Notes too. And then we can just go ahead and drag these to the bottom. YouTube, and let's go ahead and just, um, let's put our gallery in there too. And now we have a really neat setup. And remember, these are the apps you see on every page. So those are a couple of the tweaks I like to make when I first set up a tablet. Um, in fact, let me show you two more. Just swipe down, upper right corner, go to the settings. Change your display settings under display and then change your screen timeout from 30 seconds to at least two minutes. So when you don't touch the screen, it doesn't go off so fast because that can be really irritating. And um, again, just a few tweaks I like to do when you first start out. And there's obviously a lot more that you can do, but um, just to help you get your tablet set up and you know have all the important things to you on the front, so then you can you know uh, be more efficient with how you use it. Um, 
So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Keep an eye out for our tips and tricks video. That video is coming soon as well as our hidden features. We're going to show you a lot of cool hidden things you can do with the tablet that you probably never knew you could do. So stay tuned, guys. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. And make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos and have a good one.